right, we found Nike uh, slide, and Link is going for it. Whoa, you're zooming. <laughs> Nice job, mate. All right, so where are we, Lincoln? For Nike headquarters. This, this is actually a parking garage, and then just randomly they have this cover. I'm going again. And they have a slide. Okay, he's determined to go faster. Get a head start this time, bud. <laughs> it's so bad. Your throat hurts from that, from the slide? Yeah. It's gonna be signing the liability waiver. So this is the other side of where that slide is. This is the parking garage for Nike employees. Growing up, we didn't have very much money and I always wanted a pair of Nike Air shoes. The Jordans came out, like I was born in 1980, so like when I was seven years old, the Air Max came out and then the Jordans started coming out not too long after that. And I would see kids in school that always had them and I always wanted them. But I never had any until I was 17 years old and it was the Air Max 97s. That was the first ever Nike Air shoe that I've ever had. Tiger Woods and Phil Knight came out here <laughs> and they would have battles. See that building over there? This is equality. Phil Knight challenged Tiger, hey, break a window on that building. He hit it three times and he couldn't break a window, but he did hit it. And then there's this little tiny green over there. Here's that green that he landed it on. Just to give you perspective, that's where they're hitting from. Way down there on the other side of the field. And he hit his driver all the way onto here. Man, I miss the old Tiger Woods. The guy could kill it. made out of recycled shoes. Whoa, the whole thing? Yeah, and like all the outdoor basketball courts. <laughs> like, that's what? Cool. That's cool. Recycled shoes, that's amazing. We should recycle our stuff that we can open. Cut open. No. And we can make a basketball court. Yeah. yeah. a tour of part of the campus. This is like only one campus. There's so many things to Nike here. What do you think, Link? Your impressions amazing. of Nike? Amazing. I love yeah. the basketball court. The basketball court is your favorite out of all that? We are about to meet with Tinker Hatfield, the man, the myth, the legend. This is incredible. So Lincoln and the kids get the front row. walking on the foundation of our, our entire being. The way we connect to the earth is through our shoes or through our bare feet. Start with the bottom of the shoe. So we're gonna just, just sort of quickly move through and um, if you think about trying to design a shoe, you know, you know, you need to have a layer underneath there that's soft. So we watched your Netflix series, your Netflix You episode. saw it? Yeah. Wow. And we Good. saw that you did, you went to, you got your inspiration from the Pompidou Museum. So we, did, we decided to go to Paris and actually see. No the, kidding. The Whoa, the that's pretty impressive. Yeah. You so ride the escalator up, the glass escalator We didn't up. go up it, we saw it from the outside. Yeah. And it was really cool. Um, so you saw that and you decided to change it into a shoe. So what other things should we like look for to make the shoe meaningful? and like oh well I, I think that's a great question first of all because it's it's not that it's not always that easy um, to um, sort of find a story that helps you design a product um, but I would I think that you should be uh, you, sh you should like uh, maybe an easy way to sort of describe uh, how you might go about doing it would be what do you what do you love what do you like what's your favorite thing um, I like playing sports what's your favorite sport Basketball. Basketball. Um, so, um, what's your favorite team? Do you have a favorite team? Um, 
I like Golden State. Golden and, State. Um, BYU Cougars. Okay, so if you go down that sort of like the, a list of things that uh, that are important to you, um, you can end up at some point and go, you know what? I could be inspired by the Golden State or the Golden Gate Bridge. So maybe my shoe is going to be the color of the Golden Gate Bridge, and maybe it'll have lines on it that that uh, that are that kind of look like all the cables that hold up the, the, the bridge part that people drive on. You know what I mean? Like you always look for something that is interesting to you to your to yourself because it might be it'll probably be interesting to other people as well. But anyway, I think that's just a great way to kind of get rolling. And you may change your mind halfway through the design. Go, you know what? I don't like that Golden Gate Bridge thing. Maybe there's something else about it. something else. You know what? Let me cut this run short. Let me get in on this race. For the rest of your lives, you can say, Matt Sentience, Olympic gold medals, whatever. Don't I put this up on right, the internet, so. please. <laughs> put it Don't blog about it. Don't worry, it is right now. <laughs> he doesn't great. move often, but he lost today, so that was good. Thank you, Centro. I am not allowed to lie to any of you. Our job as a coach is very, very simple, is that when you show up for practice, you leave a better version of yourself. The cool thing about what all of you are doing is you're adding positivity in people's lives every single day. That is a very, very important job. That's a really hard thing to do because everybody needs some of it in their lives and you guys do it. So one, thank you very much for doing what you do because there are people around the world who for whatever reason, they get to watch you and they get to smile. And sometimes that's the only smile they have all day. So this is it, this is the sweet. Boom, yep, I mean, sweet 41, get that. 41, if you need us, that's where we'll be. That's where we were, this is where we are. It's a lot higher, but it's cozy, there's food, it's a sweet, and Nike, thanks to Nike for this awesome sweet. Yes. Design your own shoes, find what's inside things, <laughs> show you what's inside the Air Max Zeros, see some stuff that you might know about. So that's right, tomorrow Lincoln is going to design his own shoe. By the time this video comes out, you guys already have seen his shoe. We haven't seen it yet, so that's cool Lincoln, right? It's already been designed, according to these people. We have no idea what master brilliant shoe idea is in Lincoln's mind right now. But um, as of this time, I guess the voting is open. So you guys can vote. Click on the link in the description and you can go vote for Lincoln's yes, shoe. Please, please vote for me. Like, I really want my shoe to be in source. Don't you want to buy the shoe that I designed? Like, that, that would be cool. And it's only possible if he gets enough votes. And there's some tough competition. These other influencers are our friends and they're awesome. And I hope any of them win. But um, if you want to give Lincoln a vote, that would please. be cool. So get ready for tomorrow and you'll see the making of the Lincoln Nike Air Max. It's coming to you fresh 
tomorrow. Please do it. There's some other cool things that are happening oh. tomorrow. So I hope you like this video. I hope it was super long because it was a long day and it was a lot of fun. Yeah. So see ya.